Dearest mailman Jim, I am remiss for not reaching out to you sooner. Paula in apartment 67J shared with me in recent months the glorious fact that you are a gay man. I have only recently become a true and personal ally to the cause of your Lidbit Kia community. I am inspired by your strength, mailman Jim, both mental and physical. Some of those packages are very heavy. You must understand, dear Jim, my son came out to me this year. Or, as he likes to explain it, was dragged out. When I trespassed on his apartment and found him spooning another man in the 10,000 thread count sheets I had purchased him for his 22nd birthday. Yes, it was a shock. But one that I never hoped to have unshook. Although the revelation of my son's sexuality was unexpected, I will say that I have always felt an unexplained connection to you and your people. Our people, dear Jim. As the mother of a gay, I am forever linked. Please, call me sister. It was last year that, with a welcome struggle, I hung your wondrous national flag from my apartment window. Its rainbow colors recall the pot of gold to which rainbows are said to lead. Now, in our time, the pot of gold, of course, represents freedom to love. I have one last confession. I had once hoped that my daughter might fall for you, mailman Jim. You, or perhaps that delightful disenfranchised fire twirler I met in Union Square years ago. But she is stubborn and has recently married a Wall Street broker. You can imagine my disappointment. I realize now that, silly me, all this time I could have been hoping instead that my son would fall for you. It's funny where life can lead. Unrelated, I have a package, estimated value $8,000. I would love to ship tomorrow if you are free to come collect it. My gay son may be here visiting me at the same time, for no reason at all. With shared pride, Janet. Live your truth, Mama! <laughs>